I am. But he actually told me how to sew. He actually was very much interested in me and saw something in me for him to talk to me for five years, repeating the same thing over and over again until I finally, he forced me to take an initiative. Because one day I asked him to make a pair of pants into shorts because I always brought him stuff to, to tailor. And can anyone guess what he said to me when I asked him to cut these pair of shorts? What did he say? Right. What he said was, you're going to do it yourself. Now, they got this thing called tough love, right? Tough love, sometimes people make you do things that you may not want to do. Or they say, well, you know what? You have the potential to do it. And you're scared or you're nervous or you're, you don't have the confidence. So that was tough love. So what he did was, he said that statement to me, and he actually came over, showed me how to cut my first pair of pants, cut my first top. And ever since then, since 91, since I graduated from high school, I've been making clothes and, you know, doing fashion shows, and it developed into other areas, you know, producing, you know, music, artists, as well as producing the TV program and, and doing this, coming back to the community and talking to youth. As of right now, I'm doing a youth conference in Mount Vernon, going to like uh, four, four schools, middle schools and high schools. There's probably like 50 or 75 adults that we're conducting our own class. You know what I mean? We go to the school, 7.30 in the morning, like the teachers do, and then we go into different classrooms and we speak to young people. So this is something that, you know, that I do all year round, and I find it, you know, very exciting. Now, going back to the civil rights movement, um, I just want you to understand that people sacrificed, and people sacrificed, and people sacrificed in order for us to have the nice things um, or have the educational system we have now, and also to be able to have rights, you know what I mean, for different cultures, different groups, you know what I mean? So the thing is that I would want every person, young person in this, young, in this room, young person in this room, outside of your school, please come to a place like this, find out more about culture, find out more about history, because history is very important. History can allow you to move forward in life. So I would hope that, tell your parents, you know, one of your relatives, or Yes. Also, we have some videos that they might like to borrow. Is that right? DVDs? Mm -hmm. Okay, so with books, DVDs, and videos. And videos. Okay. okay. And, listen, and communicate um, if there is a you know, desire to come back to me. And I'll do what I can to, during public cell hours, come over here and look through, okay? Yeah. Now, one thing I just want to ask before I, I finish, finish talking, um, I want to I, I wanna know from each individual, I want to know if you have something that you'd like to do as of right now and what you want to do uh, in, for future. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are your future goals? What, what are your interests as of right now? And if you don't know, it's fine. Because maybe after this today, maybe something will spark inside of you, and maybe you'll find a common interest mm -hmm. or something that you can do. And I, I just want to say, so it might be like ten things. <laughs> you know, you might have one thing that you're interested in. Maybe you have ten things that you're interested in that are all kind of floating around. We'd be interested in that as well. So. All right, so I'm not going to put anybody under pressure on the, on the spot. You know, it's just a, this, I'm going to start on this side. <laughs> do you need time to think? Is that what it is? Maria, what do you do uh, after Club Excel all on night? What do you learn downstairs? So you sing? You sing? I'm so, I'm so, I'm so jealous. I wish I could. Taking care, 
Like this guy taking care of a young person, it takes a, it takes a, watching my son, it takes a lot of patience, <laughs> it takes a lot of everything. I hear caring in that. <laughs> yes. I hear caring. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, what about you? What are you? Okay. Now you draw, you paint, or? Oh, wonderful. Uh, lately, I found myself um, I found myself uh, much more, much more interested in a lot of the um, like the hobbies uh, that my father had for a long time. Yeah. And I've been spending more time with my father. Um, you know, visiting. Um, he's very into like uh, things like trains and some of the, the historical train sites around New York State. Thank you. Wow. So your father has been influential. Absolutely. And right, yeah. some of the things and that things that I don't didn't always appreciate along the way, but right. as I uh, Grow older and mature, uh, you appreciate much more now. Yes, yes. You hear the young people? Yes, young men. What are, what are your common interests? Uh, <coughs> um, my common interest is um, really just cars. Okay, um, cars. I'm thinking of becoming an engineer when I grow up. Engineer? Building them, designing them. Yeah. Okay, we That's need that. Yes. What, what are your What are your common interests? What do you What do you want to be when you grow up? When I grow up, <laughs> um, actually, I like dancing. Are you dancing over there? So when I grow up, I'm going to be a dancer. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I enjoy dancing as well. Yes. Spanish music, salsa, mm, salsa, yeah. merengue. Yes. Okay. But I also am a sporty girl. I like to play basketball. Okay. When I was younger, I used to play a lot more than now. I'm more busy now than before. So, but yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What do you like? I like drawing, mentioned to me. You have to do, uh, you have to practice, and you have to gain information about whatever it is that you want to do. You know, each thing that you choose to do, you have to gather knowledge and information at a place like this, library. You know what I mean? There's a lot of valuable information, and now we have the internet. So there's a lot of ways that you can educate yourself on whatever it is that you like to do. Now, you said there was something that you wanted to mention? Oh, um, about uh, the mentoring. Yeah. Um, as we said, there's, there's a lot of potential uh, mentors out there. And I think um, so many uh, young people expect the mentor to really take their hand and lead them. Okay, excellent. Been in there? Oh, well, been there. Ah, cool. Bryson, <coughs> what do you like to do? Where? Oh. I don't know. What do you like to do? <laughs> Okay. And one more, just one more. Ice 